good-looking folks in Illinois, I'll tell you that much. I love you. Which begs the question, what state are you from? <laughs> I'm only serious. All right, anyway. Now, I'll see you at the house. God bless you. Thank you. We're going to have fun tonight. I tell you, I'd done a show last night, and the folks that didn't walk out on me really enjoyed it. So, uh... <laughs> I always like to picture everybody naked when I first come out. You know, I'm not nervous or nothing. I'm just a pervert, so. <laughs> there you, go. you need to put your clothes back on right here. What, the heck? Ah, what is that? <laughs> you should picture me without clothes on, then you'd be laughing so hard I wouldn't have to tell any jokes up here. <laughs> Sorry about my outfit. I just come from a wedding, so I apologize for that. It was a weird wedding, too. They had the father-daughter dance. They ended up leaving together. <laughs> All right, one more joke like that. I'm getting the hell out of here. All right, because that's, that's uncalled for right there. I guess I should do this, Gator Dude. That's right, Gator Dude. You know, the first phrase, that wasn't my original phrase. The first one I come up with was, Yipper Dipper Ripper Stripper. I know, right? It wouldn't fit on a hat, plus I don't know what the hell it means. All right. No idea. I was going to uh, work out this morning, but I, uh, I woke up with the sweat, so I figured I already had it in there. So, uh, almost didn't make it here tonight. Uh, I hate flying an airplane, and I'd fly to meet my bus, and I hate flying them daggone airplanes, and the daggone airport wouldn't let me bring my emotional support stripper with me on the airplane. <laughs> I ain't kidding. When that plane gets going like that, if I can't motorboat a pair of t***s, I'm in trouble. <laughs> it was so windy where I lived one time, I lost my hat, two cigars, and my neighbor's house. Lost his house because one of my cigars blowed in his trailer and burned his house down. All right, so let's keep that to ourselves. It got out of control, too. It burnt down Cheryl She Shed. All right. That's right. Now you know the whole story right there. You know the whole story. Tonight's a special night for me. Tonight is the 10 year anniversary when my hometown gave me the keys to the city and had a little parade for me. So, uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Remain seated. Thank you. And tomorrow's the 10 year anniversary again when they uh, changed all the locks in the city. All right. 